Hello little readers, my name is Destiny and welcome to Destiny's Reading Corner. Tonight we're going to be reading Look Up by Nathan Bryan. When you dream big, anything can happen. Meet Rocket, Stargazer, Extraordinaire, she's on a mission to show everyone a spectacular sight. But will they look up in time to see? A funny, upfilling story celebrating the wonder of every moment. Now, grab your popcorn and the audience begins in five, four, three, two, one. Every night before bed, I set up my telescope and look up at the stars. Mom tells me that I never stop looking up and my head is always floating in the clouds. But she can't tell me that I look up more than my big brother Jamal looks down at his silly phone. Jamal says I'm called Rocket because I've got fiery breath. But Mom says it's because a famous rocket blasted off into space the day I was born. All I know is that one day I'm going to be the greatest astronaut, star catcher, space traveller who has ever lived, like Mae Jem Jemison, the first African-American woman in space. Did you know Mae Jemison went into orbit around Earth in the space shuttle? Even enough, she is scared of heights. I'm totally prepared. I've defeated gravity, captured rare and extraordinary life forms, and built a ship to the stars. I want everyone to see it with me. So I made some flyers to hand out. Jamal is going to take me to the park to see the Mirta show. But first we have to go to the supermarket. While he's looking for milk, I'll be trying to find astronaut food. Did you know Mirta show showers happen when Earth moves through the trail of dust left by a comet? Did you know most Mirtas are smaller than grains of sand? Did you know Mirtas are bits of dust burning up in the astromosphere? Did you know? The best time to see a Myrta shower is when it's dark with no clouds. In the supermarket, when Kathy the cashier isn't looking, I grab the microphone. Tonight, come out and witness the amazing Venus Myrta shower. Everyone looks up. Kathy takes her microphone back as I hand out my flyers to the other people in the queue. I think Jamal might be a tiny bit cross with me. Did you know the Phoenix Mirta Shower will come soon? We'd better drop off the shopping and get the, to the park fast. Oops! Ha ha! That wouldn't have happened if you just had looked up. Now Jamal is even more cross with me and says, we won't take me to the park anymore. But then when we get home, mum saves the day. Come on, Jamal, she says. Put the phone down and take your little sister to the park. Yes, I jump and I do my famous victory dance around the house. I grab my jetpack, rush Jack, put to Jamal, is still glued to his game. Wait till I've completed the level rocket, he grumbles. As we're about to leave, the doorbell rings. Wowzers! Everybody hears and they, they're they all holding my flyers. To the park, I yell at the top of my lungs. We're so excited. My neck is aching from the staring up into the night sky. But I won't stop. I can't miss it. 
Suddenly the park goes silent, even the birds holding their breath. Everybody points their telescopes and binoculars up at the sky. I think I see one, but it's just a plane flying overhead. Everyone moans and groans. We wait and wait and wait. It must be nearly time for the park to close. One by one, people start to go home. Maybe the Phoenix Meat Show was just a myth. Maybe that's why Jamal didn't want to come along. Maybe everyone is upset with me for wasting their time. I never ever felt this sad before. Jamal looks at me for the first time today. It feels like the first time ever. I've turned my phone off, sis, he says. I'm sorry for making you wait in the freezing cold nothing, Jamal. Let's go home. Suddenly, there's a big bright light in the sky. Look up! The Phoenix need to show up. I'm speechless. Jamal says he pulls out his flask and gives me a warm cup of hot chocolate. Yummy. We both sit down on the hill, watching near to zoom across the sky. I'm so happy we looked up and saw them together. Did you know? One day I'm going to have a meter show named after my name. That's the end of Look Up. I like the part where they see the meat shower because I like meat showers because they always, always grab your attention. And I wonder why. Probably Rocket knows. And if I ever see her, I'll ask her. I hope you enjoyed this story. I will see you in our next video. Make sure to subscribe and like.